The United States goes through 100 billion plastic shopping bags annually. An estimated 12 million barrels of oil is required to make that many plastic bags. Oil is a fossil fuel that contaminates our environment through its transportation and the harmful chemicals that it leaks into our atmosphere. Scientists have estimated that every square mile of the ocean holds about 46,000 pieces of floating plastic. These bags fly easily into our oceans and marine animals mistake the plastic bags for food and ingest these deadly layers of plastic, which leads to the plastic wrapping around their intestines and killing them. The city of Newburyport is now joining the effort to reduce thin film plastic bag use. On March 29, 2015, the city of Newburyport began its thin film plastic bag ban. On March 29th, my mom and I set out to discover exactly what this plastic bag ban would look like in local retail stores. The farmer's market has begun using paper bags to sell their products. Market Basket is now distributing paper and 10 cent thick film plastic bags to customers. They also have cardboard boxes available for carrying groceries. But don't worry, Market Basket and Shaw's still have these plastic bags available for produce. Shaw's and CVS are now using thick, reusable plastic bags and paper bags. However, the best option is to choose reusable or biodegradable bags because you are cutting down less trees and helping reduce pollution that paper mills spread into local rivers. You can purchase reusable bags at Market Basket, Shaw's, or CVS, or for free at City Hall. You can recycle your plastic bags here at Market Basket. Remember, the purposes of the plastic bag ban are to regulate the use of thin film plastic bags, thus conserving oil, and to reduce pollution in our wonderful coastal community. Thanks for listening and for joining the effort to make our environment safe and healthy for us and marine animals. And remember to always choose reusable.